Well, kia ora, Pine Haven School. How are we all today? Good? Okay, well, my name's Jonathan Coleman. I've got a really cool job. I get to be in charge of sport, so you can imagine that's pretty interesting. If you had a choice of sitting inside and playing games on the iPad or going outside and running around and playing sport, who would want to play on the iPad? Right, okay. Who would want to go out and play games outside? Well, that's pretty good, actually. Okay, that's good. Well, the aim of Play.Sport is that we get the kids who would rather play on the iPad wanting to join the kids who would rather go outside and play sport. So next time you're thinking about uh, playing Minecraft, you guys know Minecraft? Yeah, yeah. Well, put away the Minecraft and go outside and throw around a netball or a footy or kick a ball. And Play Not Sport is going to make you want to do that. Okay, guys, well, have a great day. I'm really looking forward to getting out and playing some games with you. Thanks very much. We're looking to improve the ability of primary schools to deliver quality physical education for our kids because that leads to better educational outcomes, better health outcomes and better social outcomes in general. Well it's really important that children today get the fundamental skills that they need to be involved in sport and recreation for life. For all the value that comes from being active uh, and being healthy, um, those are embedded early in, in quality PE and, school, uh, and, and sport inside schools. So that's why this program is really important. So the feedback we've had and it's backed up by the research is that while PE is part of the curriculum, schools want more support in delivering quality physical education. Teachers want the support and that's why we've got these facilitators, these mentors and these activators helping schools develop quality uh, programs, deliver them but also make those links into the community so that there's strong links between our schools and local sports clubs and organisations. Well, when we got invited to take part, it, for me it's around the professional development that our teachers are going to get in order to help our children to be more physically active and more physically skilled. I think the benefits are huge in terms of um, looking after you know, young people's well-being. So we have traditionally, I think, thought of perhaps sport and physical activity as being just something that develops their physical skills and their physical competencies. But I think this is so much more and fits really nicely into the whole New Zealand curriculum and looking after the whole young person. So looking after their um, social well-being and their physical well-being, their uh, mental and emotional well-being and their spiritual well-being. So they can take kind of that whole holistic view into the classroom and into their learning experiences. I like sport because I get to hang out with my friends and, to, and I like staying fit and they get to like, be, it's a team sport so you get to like hang out with each other. I love sport because I, it keeps me fit and healthy and it's really fun and it's also great because you get to do so many different types of sport like there's swimming and, and gymnastics and things like that and it's so fun.